Friends and followers, I'm giving you a warning first off. This episode is intended for those who are 18 plus. And these are things that truly grind my gears. Because these are things that make me cuss, that make me swear, and that make me upset about... So let's start by the fact that more than 90% of you who have not subscribed to my channel really need to do so because when new episodes come out, I want you to uh, make sure that you get notified when that happens. And you need to ring that notification bell in particular, since my last name's also Bell, and make sure that you hit the option that says all. Now, on to the video. So, things that make me cuss. I'm going to divide this into three categories. Delays, politicians that leave town, and poor quality products. Let's start with delays. You know what makes me cuss more than anything else? And I don't care if it's from the DOT, road construction, traffic, uh, shipping delays, uh, happen delays caused by parts shortages, etc. You know what grinds my gears off of that? Is if you tell me that things are supposed to happen at this time, and then that time passes, and there's no, I don't hear from you, especially with my water company, my electric company, and certain state DLTs who now keep adjusting these projects. Uh, by the way, in terms of those state DOTs, I'm looking at two of them, Texas DOT and Tennessee DOT in particular. <laughs> well, you grind my gears. Because if you can't complete stuff as promised, on time and on schedule... You cause me to be delayed, which then causes my customers and my move, etc., to be delayed. And then it just gets out of hand. And there I say it, but you assholes need to get, get this problem solved. Now, one of the biggest contributors to delays is shortages of workers... Which in turn is oftentimes caused by a shortage of a three letter cuss word called P A Y, or pay for short. Yeah. If you can't pay your employees enough for them to survive, and they're moving on to other jobs because, quite frankly, you don't want to support them even if you do give them a title. That is a problem, especially when trucking companies are now starting to... There's some trucking companies out there now that are paying drivers $100,000 plus just to stay employed with them. And that is... And other companies are raising pay so that drivers can afford their rent. And I'm not talking about the entry-level $0.32 a mile jobs from some of these... Uh, big expedite companies or mega carriers like you know who the one that's real famous for striking bridges shutting down and on roads and uh, sure wear a shirt for that uh, but the but companies like the one that I'm working at right now are starting to see that you cannot keep good drivers or hire good drivers for the life of them without jacking the pay up and yeah, I know that's going to increase the prices a little bit for some of you who... I already know, I learned in college about the wage price spiral, where when prices go up, then wages have to follow, or vice versa. But that's because of the way our system works here in the U.S. That's where money is getting worth less and less all the time due to stim things like stimulus checks, etc., uh, but seriously, if you're not paying your drivers enough to afford an apartment like the one that I'm in, you really need to get those, you really need to figure out your problem and solve it. 
Now let's go on to number two. Politicians who skip town. Our state's governor here in Texas has been trying desperately to get a hold of 50 Democrats who left town during the midst of a special session and who were supposed to be at work. Because their lobbyists raised enough money to pay, pay for their plane tickets for them to escape to Washington, D.C. and meet with their leader. About a non-existent voting rights issue. Unless we're, unless we're talking about continuation of their voter fraud, their extensive use of mail-in ballots and mail-in registrations, and their wanting of everybody to vote absentee, just so they can change the ballots when they get them. Uh, it's not a widespread problem, but if you've never had your wallet stolen, consider yourself lucky and blessed. Since the Democrats use the tactic of, oh, let's steal the wallet and then change the information. And it's not just Democrats, by the way. It's mostly criminals doing that. But even so, the Democrat Party grows every time a criminal does that. Because that person's info gets compromised. I've mentioned about stolen wallets before on this episode. Now they're starting to use that for political gain. So, therefore, it's not a widespread problem. But you, you followers to my channel need to make sure you're keeping track of your wallet, keep copies of your documents at home, and be prepared to change stuff quickly and jump on it if your wallet does happen to get stolen. I luckily had identity theft protection, which caught this in the act, but others are not so lucky. Uh, and if you're one of the 50 politicians who skipped town, left Austin and went to Washington, D.C., and you're watching this, get your ass back home, because the governor is threatening to arrest you, and has already started putting warrants out for your arrest. To get you back in that chamber where you can quarantine for 14 days with your fellow Democrats and some Republicans and get your vote done. There. Because obviously you're spreading that you know what variant when you do stuff like that. And especially given the fact that I've seen, and I don't care if your plane was chartered or not, where were your dadgum masks? When you were flying that plane. I don't care if you were fully vaccinated or not. You could have gotten somebody else sick. Like maybe the pilot or the co-pilot. Unless the crew members were also vaccinated. Now on to number three. Delays. When you promise that you're going to deliver a product. And then several weeks later. You don't deliver. Well, that, my friends, is fucking stupid. And worse yet, you keep blaming the pandemic, as I'm calling it. You keep blaming worker shortages. You keep blaming your delayed ships due to parts imports from China that you should have been making here in the United States in the first place. And I'm sorry. But... Your bad attitude and your failure to communicate with me. I'm looking at you, Tri-County Electric. I'm looking at you, Southwest Water. In particular. Where it's now taking over a month and you're failing to communicate with me on what the cause is. For stuff that should be taking maybe a day or two. Now I get it. In the case of the crews that you're scheduling, departments are trying to get them out as fast as possible in a state with a population boom and, like I said, these park shortages and things that are going on. And they're, but, come on. Get your head out of your ass. Place that phone. Don't be shy. 
about picking up the phone and placing a phone call or sending an email or something letting me know what is going on. Because stuff that used to take just a couple days is now taking months and months and months. And we don't always have that kind of time. Okay? And without an explanation as to why this is happening and why you're not telling me up front as to how long this process can take, that's your failure to communicate and that's your problem. Not to mention the fact that some of the road crews that are working on the project out in the place where I'm moving to have been speeding and knocking over mailboxes and then failing to tell the residents. And I've been seeing that not only did my mailbox get hit, but so did my neighbors. And therefore, I'm going to have to dig a deeper hole. I'm going to have to get some stakes for my mailbox, etc. Uh, perhaps even tomorrow when I go out there and check on the property. So, there's my rant and my cussing. And if you want some more colorful language like this, uh, again, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell with the option of all. I'm Trucker Zach Bell. This has been Buck Off. And until next time, uh, I will catch you later on another episode of Buck Off, or on Trucking It, or on Roping It, or on Togzak. Catch y'all later, and um, bye for now.